Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Monday, May 9th, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, one thing we looked at the previous week was how price went offered here through the HVN or Posit VPOC at 2061s. And, uh, you know, this has been a magnet for us for some time. After 1800s, we were looking for a bounce into 2061s. And we're looking for price to chop around that area as the market facilitates trade uh, around that major distribution up there where, where previous distributions had occurred. Uh, and, and that's really what's happened so far. And after Friday's trading here, we saw a significant rejection on these lows and then a major uh, close back against those lows. And then we see here heading into RTH Monday that overnight trading has taken us into 2061s for a retest here. This is going to be very important. Bears are going to want to continue to keep 2061s offered for a shot at seeing further weakness uh, into the next HVN uh, below. We have a minor peak here around uh, 2006, and that's an area to continue to watch. Uh, but right now, if, if prices do not go offered here or barely go offered here, you have one, two, three uh, days here where you have some bears that have been defending. If they do not begin to get paid, you're going to start to see the upside buy stops come out, and that's going to push you right back toward recent highs. And again, we're trading back within that trading range. Uh, so right now, as I mentioned before, you're going to be very careful around 2061 composite VPOC. That's an HVM there, and typically speaking, there's not much edge around value. So you have to be very, very uh, picky about your entries. Look to fade the edges on a day like today, but. Keep in mind that on a higher time frame basis, bears are looking to keep that area offered for further weakness toward 2009. Uh, failure to hold above it runs the stops back up toward 2100. All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame. On an intraday basis here, you can see already 25% PB pivot being uh, rejected already today. We also have uh, the overnight pivot being bid and price holding right on 2049s. I would say right now that's kind of the, the bracketed range we're seeing here and fading edges of the range uh, makes a lot of sense at this moment as prices are basically stuck between 2046 and 2060. 2046 has been a very, very important pivot. If we zoom out of this a little bit here, what you'll see is how that pivot has been very, very important here and prices traded mostly above and below it. Uh, making it kind of an LVN right now in the five-day profile. So right now we have kind of two distributions here, 46 up to about 60 and down at 2030. And if prices can't get above 2061, we could see another rotation into 44 to 46, at, at which point we may see a little bit of trading range behavior. So again, look to fade new highs, fade new lows today uh, as price looks to establish the early range for the week. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Here's crude oil, and, and this shows right here that really the bulls had a shot to really take the ball, run with it, and they failed. And in doing so, they're still looking to uh, develop some sort of acceptance above 4385s. Uh, you know, we got that push into the LVN at 4665, and that first test push up there was significant, a big time rejection off that area. Price pulled back, and you can see here, this is the week, uh, the, uh, rather the monthly pivot range, rather wide, 41.68 to 44.51, rather wide compared to what we've seen over the recent months here. And that tells you that we're likely to see trading range behavior, especially after a month where we saw upward price discovery. So basically what we're looking for is further trading range behavior. Um, bears are clearly defending the previous month's close, 40.592s into 46s, likely for a push a little bit lower. Bulls are looking to defend and, and rotate this thing back up. If there's any failure to hold above 46s here, you could begin to run the upside buy stops of the bears who have defended for the first part of the month. One thing we've noted in the trading room is how prices have been uh, basically turned higher over the last uh, couple of months here from those recent lows. And this has been very bullish how this has continued higher. Now one thing you usually see in an uptrending market is you see prices below the previous month's close get absorbed and then you see those things pushed higher. Right now we're seeing the same thing. We're seeing bears come in below the previous month's low, uh, rather the previous month's close. And to me it looks like there's absorption going on here and if those uh, bears don't get paid above 46, it squeezes them significantly into the next upside 
targets, which again, I marked as 49s. There's an HVN at 49s above, and that's where I'm looking for price to head toward very soon, should price uh, be able to maintain general acceptance above 42.60. All right, let's take a look at the intraday time frame for a moment. Here you are. On an intraday basis, what you see is price uh, has already had a very active overnight uh, rally, kind of fail here above 45.60s and back to the previous week's close in the pivot range here. And right now we're just kind of chopping around that zone. Uh, early on, I would say that um, you know failure to hold above the previous week's close, 44.62, opens up a push into the five-day VPOC, which is 43.67. Uh, we may see a lot of trading around the previous week's close where price may drop below it and drop back above it and then move one way or another. So uh, right now we're just right around a key level that a lot of the market's going to continue to watch. But failure to hold this zone opens up a move here. Pushing back above 45s so opens up a retest back toward the top of the recent highs, 45.80. Let's take a look at gold. Here's gold. Um, we've had a significant squeeze through 12.65s recently here. Uh, or 1275 especially in a big push into 1301.80. There was a rejection up here and what I mentioned before was we would look to reject any prices uh, on the second day here between 1298.80 1298.80 and those uh, 1301.80s for a shot at seeing a, mo a move into 65s to 67s. We got a very very nice move over the following three days but came just shy of that zone and then bounced. Our idea initially was for price to push this into the zone and then for bulls to defend and perhaps attempt for another push higher. But that area got front run. And then now you can see after the recent rally, we're already back down. So right now, a lot of uh, jump starting back and forth. And we've seen kind of this rodeo before where they just, you know, whipsaw you back and forth, back and forth. I think overall, we've seen a general upward bias. And uh, as long as bulls continue to defend advances toward 1265s here, uh, we could be looking for an ultimate push toward 1338 to 1341, the next major upside targets here. So that could be where we're headed if price can continue to maintain acceptance above 1265s here to 1267. That's likely the next upside target. Failure to hold above 1265s opens up a return back to composite VPOC at 1236 half. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. Lastly, you can see prices here. Uh, rejected significantly on this major high right there absorption signature all the way down and then now you're starting to see uh, rejections on these lows just modestly here but overall continuing to see weakness I think one thing that's important is prices here uh, attempted to hold up, up above this zone but when it rejected the hold above those highs it rejected through those lows and we got to move downward this could be a short-term low down here now and if it is, I would expect a retest back toward the bottom of the previous distribution, at which point there's an LVN, the top of the pivot range for the uh, month here. And that could be an area where bears look to defend and we start to distribute in this area. So, um, you know, before that happens, 43.55 is the important area. Bears want to defend it for a shot at lower prices. Above it, likely squeezes for a retest back toward 44.40. All right, looking at the intraday time frame. Here we are. The intraday time frame right here shows that uh, prices were absorbed off the previous open, 42.80. Throughout the session, a big time squeeze ensued into the close, and now we have an impulse range that has formed in overnight trading. That's an impulse range we'll be watching in the trading room here uh, from this low, 43.18, up to the 43.47s. Uh, the midpoint of that range is going to be 43.32 half. We're going to use that for extensions as well. Um, basically, any failure to hold above that, the, the bottom of that range opens up a rotation back toward 4303 with a likely move into 4300 for a major retest. Right now, we're at the top of value here, so if prices cannot maintain general acceptance, we could just push right back toward 5-day value. Overall, uh, 4355 is the big time higher time frame level. That's the level that needs to be crossed for bulls to really start to get some momentum to the upside. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out the rest of the week. Good luck and trade well.